Out here. I know, but I got crazy. I was hoping you'd come home soon. I walked the deck, but I wanted you to do it too. What is that? It's early June in the Bahamas, and changes in the weather are beginning to occur. We just heard on our uh, radio from a cruiser here that. Uh, there are some really gigantic squalls off Cuba, which is actually 60 miles away. Um, I just did a little walk around the deck to make sure that nothing is kind of loose, because um, these things are still quite a bit away, and it's already really, really windy. Um, but I wanted to film a little bit because the season is starting to change. It's usually always sunny, um, and even when it's windy, it's not usually overcast. Um, and yeah, certainly don't get squalls very often. So um, I'm hoping this is, we maybe have another couple weeks. Um, and I'm used to really nice weather. So yeah, that's what's going on. days have been like something out of a storybook. We've really found our groove here in Double Breasted Key, and as yet, see no good reason to leave this idyllic spot. With the help of our friends, the sea crew, we are thriving in this remote paradise particularly noteworthy considering the timing during a global pandemic. In our last episode, we showed you our routine, which includes regular dives, receiving supplies via the mailboat, and socializing with our friends at the TTYC. We are just packing up to go to a party tonight. Um, we've become friends with the head of the Bahamian Defense Force, which is, I guess, the equivalent to like the US Coast Guard. Um, he's a really nice guy, um, young guy. He's turning 32 uh, today. He's invited us to his birthday party in town, in Duncan Town, um, which is that town that has like the population of 40 before COVID, and I think like 20 after COVID. It's not much of a town. Um, but we are packing up to go now, and unfortunately, um, it's been raining. Uh, it started raining a couple hours ago, and it ju just kind of is continuing to rain, but um, we're really grateful to our friend Gary um, and all the help he's given us um, during this time. So we're going to take a rainy day ride um, into town to celebrate his not only did Gary help coordinate the order and retrieval of my medication, as you saw in last week's episode, but he's also helped us with various other things, such as communicating with the mailboat captain and helping with the disposal of our garbage. But yeah, so that's what we're doing tonight, and um, they have stuff to grill, apparently. And we, everybody made something to bring. Oh, we made uh, potato salad. Just put some onions and garlic in there and some shredded carrot. Very simple. Take a VHF for safety. 
just never know, we might need to connect. Thank you. Duncan Town is located at the bottom of the Ragged Island chain. So to make this dinghy trip shorter, we moved Calico Skies down from Double Breasted Key to Hog Key. That made yesterday the first time we moved the boat in 40 days. A new record for us. We've been in this anchorage for over a month. Yeah. Uh, moving for the first time. I almost had like butterflies. Weird. <laughs> It'll be a little sad to leave the yacht club, but I know we'll be back. Yeah, it's good to get all the gear moving again, though. Um, you know, start the engine, get the oil flowing. Again, I cleaned the bottom yesterday, so we're motoring at oops, 6 3 um, into 17 knots of wind, 18 knots. We've got a little charge on the battery, too. Like, we haven't really ran the engine in over a month, so. We got some diesel, um, which is also a good thing. Brian was able, Brian from Dell was able to get uh, five gallons from a catamaran going back to the States and we were able to siphon some off the mailboat as well. So we now have 20, we have like 30 gallons of diesel, which is pretty good. We can get ourselves out of here. I'm getting a little worried about that. Besides the party in Duncantown, there's another reason we've traveled down to Hog Key, and this is a pretty special one. Two members of our sea crew, Connor and Steph, have decided to have their wedding here, a decision they came to after facing the reality of a pandemic and how long they would have to wait for a proper wedding back in the States. To prepare, our crew has placed a large order with the mailboat for the wedding dinner and festivities. Moving the loaded dinghies from the dock at Duncan Town to Hog Key is a much shorter trip than going back up to Double Breasted Key, where the wedding will take place. Double Breasted Key has become a place close to Connor and Steph's heart, since that's where we've nurtured our friendships and spent the most time together. Plus, the TTYC will make a perfect reception venue. We did it! We did it! Look at all this shit! Once we've picked up our order and are back in Double Breasted Key, it's time to prep for the ceremony using palm fronds and other items found mostly on the beach. Our crew has a wide variety of skill sets, and as luck would have it, one of our members, Dustin, is a pastor, and she has happily agreed to perform the ceremony for Connor and Steph. Like a proper wedding, we'll not only have a spot for the ceremony and later a place for the reception at the TTYC, 
but we've also planned bachelorette and bachelor parties too. Good morning. Today is a day of a wedding down in Ragged Islands. Who would have thought? It's been pretty exciting. We've been planning this for the past two weeks. Um, and just like kind of the theme of this group for the last couple months, we all have something to contribute. Uh, so um, it's the day of the wedding and Bill and I are um, going to be, well, Bill's going to be playing guitar. I'm going to be singing. So we're going over there to rehearse now. Um, it is 10.30. 10.30. Um, the wedding is going to officially be starting at 4, but um, we're going to be getting ready at 1. The women um, and the men, I think, are getting ready two. at 2. Time to get going. So on we have to go do this rehearsal, but I'm um, going to take you with us behind the scenes. That's the goal. Here we go. After we've rehearsed, the day moves quickly, and it's time to get ready. The countdown is officially on, and before we know it, it's going to be time for a wedding. It's good, actually. Hmm. Give that a try. See you guys at the beach. See you soon. So makeup has been done. The bride is all ready to go and she I looks so ready. beautiful and I think it's getting I know, I'm really excited. Dear friends, <laughs> you started it. Sorry. I knew I would lose it. I'm already in. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> Dear friends, we are here today to witness the wedding of Connor Smith and Stephanie Crawford to share their joy <laughs> and promise them our love and support as they begin a new chapter in their lives together. There seems no better place than here in this beautiful island paradise that we all love. Ha ha ha!
Yeah, they're right here. Here, cookies. No. I just wanted to say this is a very impromptu speech, but I really, 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 really appreciate there we go. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> everything that everybody's done to help to make this day so special and meaningful and thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you very much. All right. <laughs> Ooh, pretty glasses. Yeah, look at these. Wow. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
really sad. Yeah, you gotta just do it. We're all here. Come on, big fella. You're right. Do it. Oh! Our couch! Our couch! We're burning the couch! Look like at Brad House. You're burning the couch. Let's go, couch. Good job. Goodbye, symbolic couch of the yacht club. I love that couch. How many people passed out on that couch? We love the couch. We love the couch. Love was made on the couch. How many people had sex on the couch? Yeah. Raise your hand if you made love on the couch. What? Yeah, Ryan did raise Should we ever disagree, then f you and here's to me. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was like... <laughs> 